story gets a bit uh techy because cool so my db tracks were dropping um i was having problems with my supplier and stuff and it was just taking a while to come and everyone was being really patient with me whatever so the four girls that i used with fly accumulation i paid I paid for Carda, and there was two other girls that i was supposed to use which yeah i paid and then like yeah we'll get into it paid for Carda half the money paid fly accumulation half the money and waited for my tactics to come so there was two other big influencers that i'm 99.9% .9 sure that everyone knows of um yeah and i was very shocked at the treatment and the unprofessionality if that's even a word and just how them girls was going on because it was i, I was flabbergasted like i'm thinking oh like you're a big influence i like is it, this is going to be a piece of cake like you do this all the time do you know what i mean like psh, no sweat off your nose you, you know the score that is that it didn't run like that so one girl i must have sent her the money told her what what i wanted sent her the money and i can't lie everything was just i don't know it weren't sitting right with my spirit there was something i i can't tell you what it is but something about her was not sitting right with my spirit but i'm thinking no nah, but like it's calm in it like it's calm like that, you know when you ignore your intuition and in my other video I said my intuition is very strong and I fucking meant it and my intuition is too strong uh, yeah I was just feeling very off vibes but I still went with it because like I ignored myself basically and paid her now paid her half the money and um she said to me that she didn't get the money like I didn't hear so I paid her the money sent her the thing to say yeah I've uh, uh, paid you the money and then a week went by or something dumb like that i can't even remember i'm probably making stuff up but some dumb length of time went past and i didn't hear nothing from her after i sent her the money so i emailed her and i was just like oh like do you um did you did you so i emailed her and i was just like did you receive the payment kind of thing and i don't think i got a response and then i must have emailed again and i was just like just following up from my last email like did you get the payment and then she emailed me back saying that she didn't get the payment and you know you're just thinking you're a blood clot liar but you know what i've still got to be professional so i had to hold it down like i wanted to cuss her out because i know you got the payment in it like i know you got the payment it's gone out my bank it ain't bounced back and i ain't got no emails calls nothing from my bank say oh th this money this is nothing you got the payment do you know what i mean like but even when i was putting the payment through it kept saying that the name on the card was not the same and I went back to her twice and said can you just confirm your name because when I'm trying to put the payment through it's saying that the name's not the same and she kept saying the same name same name so I just said you know what God I probably was God telling me don't do it like come on this is the red sign don't do it but I went against him and I did it and this is probably where I got bumped anyway so she's saying to me oh she didn't get it she didn't get it I said to her can you screenshot between these two dates because this is the date that i sent it to you i screenshotted my bank balance and sent it to her and said look it's gone out this is you this is your details so she sent me a screenshot of every date but the date that i sent her the money yeah so i'm like to her okay i understand but that's not the date that i asked you to screenshot kind of thing and then another length of time went past and all of a sudden hear the joke now after a while she was just basically airing me in it and you know what i took the l in it but i said to her like i sent her an email and i was like i can't lie like you've definitely received the money because it's definitely like come out my account and it's gone into the account that you gave me the details for and i said to her at the end of the day like i ain't gonna cry over 50 pound because that was half the payment i ain't gonna cry over 50 pound but like you definitely kind of got the payment kind of thing and then um i'm 30 at night yeah we live in the fucking UK. Which bank is open at 9.30 at night? Not even Metro Bank, yeah? Is open at 9.30 at night. So she's just messaged, emailed me. Then she's just come out, she's just come out of the bank now and they found the payment. What do you fucking mean they found the payment? Are you fucking dumb? You know what? I took that L. I didn't even, I was so mad. I said, I'm not even playing back. Like, in my head, I'm just thinking, if you need that £50 so much, hold it, baby girl, hold it. Like, I'm not even... Because if I email you back, yeah, it's about to be beef. Like, it's not even... I'm not even going to be nice or professional about this. So, I'm going to just have to take this L and just remove myself and just leave you 
take my 50 pound and go do what you need to do with it do you know what i mean so that happened with her never spoke to her never heard from her again um and she was going to get one of my tracksuits so i'm very glad that that kind of happened anyway i'd rather lose 50 pound than lose a tracksuit do you know what i mean cool so the second girl now now this this one was like uh, this one is the one that blindsided me so much because in the beginning everything was so sweet and rosy and it turned very weird very quickly do you know what i mean so another big influencer um basically i contacted her to promote db track she said yeah she sent me her rates whatever um i sent her like the contract and the terms and conditions and stuff like that and basically she agreed there was a couple things that she said that if i wanted to work with her that like this is her kind of these were her kind of requirements so that we need to change the contract like such as the length of time but because she was so, such a big influencer and had loads of followers and loads of engagement and she was beautiful as well like beautiful girl um i said do you know what because i actually want to work with you i can change certain things in the contract you know what i mean <clears throat> so we can both come to some sort of mutual agreement cool so change certain things in the contract such as the time um limit kind of thing that she will be able to get the picture out and stuff like that because i had a whole thing db trap was dropping on a friday and i wanted one influencer to post a picture every day up until the drop um which still happened but yeah um she couldn't do it in that frame in that time frame so we had to like kind of extend the time whatever that was not a problem to me because i kind of knew that once she posts a picture i'm gonna get sales anyway or at least traffic to my site or something but i, I would have got sales do you know what i mean so we changed everything we went back and forth forever then at the tracksuit and to be fair the tracksuits did take a like a really long while to come because my supplier was really on some fuckery like honestly but you know god's timing that was obviously the best time that i needed to drop them and they did well so i'm not not fretting but yeah they did take a while to come do you know what i mean cool so we're going back and forth i sent her a tracksuit it didn't fit her she sent it back um and then i sent her another tracksuit i didn't have the black one in the size that she needed so i did say to her like i can't lie like i, I don't have any more blacks that they've sold out because at this time db track had already dropped and you guys have watched my other video if you haven't i'm gonna put it link in the bio or whatever because that exchanged the whole that that video explains the whole madness i had with dropping db track as well but they'd already dropped and a lot of sizes were already out of stock so i didn't have any of her size in the track that she wanted so i said to her i'm gonna send you the white one calm sent it to her she was a bit like, why did you send me white? But I said to her, like, I explained to her that like, I told you that like, I don't have da da da. And then we sorted it and she was like, cool, like, I'm going to get your picture out da da da. Cool. So this time, this this was about, honestly, this was about May, right? And her picture was supposed to be out end of May, yeah? Tell me why it's September. And no picture. Ain't heard from her. Nothing, Right? Now, I feel like that's very unprofessional. If you're an influencer, this is your job. If you have a family emergency, if you have... Okay, family emergency is a little bit different, yeah? But I still feel like when when you have got the time, you should inform the person that you're working with that this has happened, this is why I can't get your content out, apologise, do all that thing. No, I just didn't hear from the girl for months. And I'm not the type of person to run people down. Like, I hate feeling like I'm running people down. It's not me. It's not... I, I don't enjoy it. So, I sent her a couple emails, no response, and then maybe she'd respond like three weeks later, the, 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 like, it was just long. And then it got to September and I said, you know what, I don't, I don't need your services anymore, I don't need you to take no pictures of me, in fact, just run me back my money, you can even hold the track to like I'm just so over it at this point, just run me back my money in it, because at the end of the day, I've already let one girl slide with keeping my money. You're not getting away with it. Do you know what I mean? Like, but again, you have to be professional with this, that, and the other. Do you know what I mean? And I tried. I feel like a little bit of me came out in how I was speaking to her just because I was real pissed. Like, I was actually real, real pissed. But, you know, I'm still a business owner. I still had to keep an element of professionality um, there. So I just basically messaged her. I can't even remember what I said, but I think I just said something like, at the end of the day it's been this amount of time like your communication ain't been great da, 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 da. it just 
have to send me back my money in it and we'll just terminate the contract here um and then even that i sent the money directly into the girl's bank account and she's come back telling me about oh her team needs to send me back the money and this that and the other and i'm just like but i sent you the money so what where, there was not i didn't deal with no team i didn't speak about no team this is the first time since april until now that i'm hearing about team and it took her time to send me back the money to the point where i just had to email her and i said listen i ain't gonna contact you again if you don't send me back the money within the next 24 hours or whatever i said I'm going to go about my own ways of getting the money. And to me, it wasn't about the money. It was only £125. Pound. I mean, that's still a lot of money, do you know what I mean? But it wasn't about the money. For me, it was so much deeper than that. It was about the principle. Like, one girl's already run off with my money. I'm not letting you get away with it. And you're just absolutely taking a biscuit because you've actually got my tracksuit. Do you get it? The other girl didn't even have my tracksuit. You've got my tracksuit. I'm telling you, you don't even... Because in the contract, it said, if this contract is terminated or whatever... You have to send me back the money, but you also have to pay for the tracksuit. I didn't even tell her to pay for the tracksuit. Hold that. Just send me back my money so I can go about my business. And you're still taking long to do that. I just said to her, listen, this is the last time I'm contacting you. If you don't send me back the money, I'm going to be going about my own routes and, and, and ways about dealing with this. Um, I said to her, listen, I was very nice. I've been very understanding the whole time. And do you know what I mean? Your communication has been shit. This, that, and the other, whatever, whatever. So she sent me back the money. That was it. Didn't speak to her again. And I'm not a rude person, but I can't lie. You're not getting a thanks out of me. There's no thank you. Like, this is this is my money. And you didn't do what you were supposed to do. You didn't keep me updated. You wasn't... Like, towards the end, it was very, like, passive aggression. And from my side as well, I can't lie. I was very passive aggressive. But I have every right to be. You don't. Do you know what I mean? But anyway, didn't speak to her again. Ain't heard from her again. Don't really care. But more of the story is, like... Working with influencers is a big fucking headache. And I know I ain't the only business owner that's been through this, been bumped, been stolen from, been taken advantage of. These people will post pretty little thing, rebellious fashion, this, that and the other, fashion over all day, every day. They won't get paid for it, nothing, right? And you've got small business trying to do their thing, get their name out there, and this is how you're treating us. Karma will catch you, all of you. All of you girls, and not even the girls that I've just worked with that stole from me and, and done me dirty. I'm talking about every single one of you that, that do small businesses dirty. Karma will catch you. It's one way or another, honestly. I just feel like so out of order. I remember messaging a girl and asking her to... This, this happened a couple of times, yeah? That I've messaged people and reached out to them for collaboration. And they've actually come back to me and been so nice and said, listen... I love the stuff in your store, but it's just not my style. And I just don't think that I'll take the right pictures, like, good pictures for you. And do you know how much I appreciate that? That's honesty. Like, if my stuff is not for you, my stuff is not for you. That's okay. But don't take my stuff. Make me feel like you're going to take, you're going to do the collaboration. Have me running you down and this, that, and the other. And then you don't do it. And I've lost out on money now. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, working with influencers is a big thing. And I have made the conscious decision like, I ain't working with them anymore. I don't feel like they're beneficial. But like I said, there's two types of people and it, there should be two types of strategies. There's marketing strategies and then there's, like, picture strategies and stuff like that. And I feel like using IG models, which, to me, IG models is just a girl that's really pretty, lip pics, good outfits, stuff like that. She takes good pictures, um, but she doesn't have an influence. Yeah, use them if you need pictures for your sites and, and for your social media. Use them, like, not an issue. But when it comes to influencers, there's you need to make sure you've got an influencer. And you need to make sure that the people that you're working with are legit. Like, Ricardo, she kept me updated every step of the way. Sent me the stuff. Da, 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 da. Like, she was very professional and on it, kind of thing. Um, even the girls that I worked with with Fly Accumulation, like, they were very good, professional. I know they were going through a, a manager, but still, very professional. No complaints, do you know what I mean? I've worked with girls in the past who I've sent multiple products to and I've got one picture out of them and then the other products just, they, they've just gone. And do you know what I mean? Like, I've made girls, I even wrote out a whole contract to make girls sign contracts and they still didn't stick to it. So it's very hard as a small business to work with influencers um yeah and especially when you're like me i'm not really in the limelight i don't really like have that kind of reputation no one knows who i am like i feel like if people know who you are then it, then you know it's better but i don't i'm not an influencer i'm not really on social media myself at all so i've only just recently started again that like, have instagram stuff like that 
but before I never had it so it's like I didn't have a name or a reputation for myself so these people didn't know who I was do you know what I mean my my face wasn't on my brand like that at all so they didn't know me and yeah I feel like that was um a, a, a big reason as to why maybe this happened I don't know I don't know um it's all a learning curve to me like I, I, I don't I'm not dwelling on any of it at all, do you know what I mean? Like, in life, things happen and it's all for a lesson and I feel like this lesson happened to me so that I can, number one, do stuff myself, like, promote my business myself and, like, be my own kind of influencer, which is what I'm going to do now. Like, I still use, like, uh, Yasmin. Yasmin, I love Yasmin. Like, Yasmin just... Yeah, she takes the best pictures and she's just so lovely, such a lovely girl. This is my business and I need to do it myself. So, yeah, that's what this experience with using influencers has shown me. And I'm not saying every influencer is bad because they've not. And I've worked with so many really good influencers. And I know there are some really good influencers out there that take their job seriously and whatnot. And Instagram models, do you know what I mean? That take their job seriously. But I think my db track drop is and my first ever infl batch of influencers that i used are the only two that actually got me sales everyone else kind of didn't get me no sales no nothing do you know what i mean so i feel like it's all trial and error and you're not to know until you until you do it and um yeah it's it's all a learning process and i feel like also i go through stuff so i can you know help other people and tell other people about my experiences do you know what i mean i take the l so you lot don't have to take the l literally <laughs> um but yeah no this has just been a really big eye opener to me number one that followers mean absolutely nothing like you could have so many followers but when you're looking at booking an influencer and you have to number one think to yourself what do i want out of this influencer do i want just some lit content or do i want sales do i want this because that all determines what kind of influencer you use number two i feel like when you are looking for an influencer the three main things you need to look at is number one how consistently they post number two how consistent are their posts and number three look at their engagement look at their comments and look to see if these are potential customers or if these are other influencers just hyping them up in the comments because a lot of girls have hundreds and do you know what i mean of comments but you go down and it's just people putting love struck faces, love struck faces, love struck faces and it's other influencers when you click on their profile. What you need is influencers that have girls like, you know, just normal members of the public. Like me, for example, comment in, where did you get that from? Oh my God, I love this bag. Where did you get that from? Oh my God, I love these lashes. Where did you get that from? When people are actually asking where people actually got stuff from, I feel like that's the type of... Well, anyway, personally for me... That's the type of influencer that I'm trying to use, you know what I mean? I don't care about girls putting love strap faces and stuff like that on these posts. Like, I don't feel like that's beneficial to my business or my strategy. If I was just try trying to find an influencer to take some pictures, 100%, because people think you're paying. So that means that when people come to my page, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, pen girls wear this. So it's all about a strategy. Honestly, when you're working with influencers, it's all about what you want out of that influencer um, and out of that kind of collaboration um but yeah i feel like in this day and age of instagram and stuff everyone classes themselves as the influencer and that is not the case and i feel like as a business owner and if you are a fellow business owner or someone who is trying to become an influencer or is an influencer then it's good to like know these things because yeah yeah, not everyone gets you sales, not everyone, but some people will bring traction. Some influencers will bring traction to your page. Some influencers will get you sales. Like, it's just all about your strategy, what you want from that influencer, your research as well. And yeah, that is it on that front. I don't feel like using influencers is a waste of time. I just feel like I've just been through so much that I believe that I can do this by myself and that I don't need influencers because apart from my DB track drop, Influencers ain't really done anything for my business like they haven't really increased sales. They haven't really increased anything for my business um, At all so I personally just don't feel like I need to to use them anymore And I'm not using them. I've had too much stress and even when they are with an agency You can still have factory go on 
so i'm just not interested in using influencers for now maybe when my business is bigger and i can actually afford to pay like big influencers who i know are serious about their shit and are gonna do you know what i mean do it then of course i'll go back to using influencers but for now i feel like i'm just gonna work on me like building my brand myself and yeah doing it my way and how i'm doing it so yeah i've had to step up to the plate and be my own fucking influencer because these people are really trying to just yeah they're really trying to violate and i just don't take well with it this wasn't a bashing influencers video because it's not that do you know what i mean like, like i said i've worked with very good influencers in the past but it's my experience and it's stuff that i've been through and it's stuff that could potentially help other people because i feel like in this day and age everyone calls themselves an influencer as soon as you get a k at the end of your follow account it's like oh yeah i'm an influencer dm me for bookings and it's like it's not it's not that like there's so many influencers now that i feel like the influence of influencers has dropped because everyone's trying to promote something everyone's wearing the same thing everyone's trying to sell something or promote something or do you know what i mean and yeah girls i'm not bashing you like go get your money da, da, da. but i just personally feel like for me and for my business influencers didn't work and my strategy now is instagram reels because instagram reels is where a lot of my traction is coming from i've got followers from them um yeah it's great and i've got a big personality so i feel like me putting myself in front of the camera even just doing youtube again and stuff like that me, me putting myself in front of the camera and spreading awareness myself is what i feel like it's going to take my brand from a to b and once i get to b then i can talk about how i'm going to get from b to c and once i get to c then i can talk about how i'm going to get from c to d do you know what i mean and you just do it step by step do you know what i mean so that's my strategy um and yeah that is literally what i am um, what i'm doing literally um I feel like the video has ended. I don't even know if I, I... I waffle and I just talk so much. I don't know if I even included everything I needed to talk about in that video. You know what? I need to start doing and planning out my videos properly. But this one really was just a spontaneous thing that I thought, yeah. I'm filming. I'm getting ready to film some content. So why don't I just do a YouTube video and talk about this? Because it was on my list of stuff that I wanted to talk about. Um... But yeah, um, if you're a business owner, I hope this helped. Um, I hope this gave you a bit of insight into the world of influencers and stuff like that. And if you are an influencer or trying to be an influencer, I hope this also helped. Um, I hope my experiences working with bad influencers helped you guys. Because if you guys are trying to be influencers, be the best type of influencer. Don't be one of these influencers that are trying to bump small businesses for money and stuff like that. Because it's not cool. It's not okay. And like I said, if I was a bitch and I started name dropping people, jaws would drop. Not everyone's going to be like me. Do you know what I mean? Not everyone's going to keep their mouth shut. And, and because I'm not out here trying to tarnish anyone's name or anyone's brand. That's why I didn't even say certain stuff that would make the people identifiable. Because I just feel like I'm not out here trying to tarnish anyone's name. I, I don't believe that that's my job. I just feel like I'm trying to spread, spread awareness about my experiences dealing with influencers and big influencers and small influencers and whoever do you know what I mean like it's not just small influencers that bump me big influencers that bump me the only person who's not going to bump me is me okay so i think i'm going to end the video here um because yeah i don't really have anything else to say and i'm not just going to sit here and waffle and waffle and waffle um but yeah i bit your legs for a reason though reason though okay girls so i'm gonna end the video here i know i haven't finished my makeup but i'm just about to put my lashes and um do my lip gloss and um, but i've got so many videos of me doing that so i'm not gonna bore you guys and do that again and i also have nothing else to say but the lashes that i'm gonna be using are um db cosmetics lashes okay so the lashes i'm gonna be using are our db lash um dbw one lashes i've used these this one the box looks like this um yeah, I've worn these before. I'm just like really put them on. As always, you guys know I'm gonna be using main attraction and icon. And um yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other topics and stuff that you'd like me to discuss, because I've been through a lot in this little business of mine and I'm still going through stuff, and um, let me know. I'm happy to film kind of any videos you guys want and um, whatever kind of videos would be beneficial to you guys. And um yeah that is the end of this video so i hope you guys enjoyed this video follow us on our socials our instagram and our tiktok they're our two main like 
um social medias give us thumbs up please subscribe to my channel because honestly i'm really trying to do this properly and stuff like that so subscribe to my channel and um yeah i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video